This is Jed Tennyson at Tennyson Brothers Incorporated in Wichita, Kansas, and you're watching Picks with David. Week number 13 in the National Football League. And you're watching Picks with David. Thanks for joining me for another edition here, right on here on YouTube and Facebook. We've got five big picks for Sunday and Monday. And we'll begin with our first matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles. The 7-4 Tennessee Titans at the 10-1 Philadelphia Eagles. Here is a matchup of a couple of teams that can run the football at will and play very good defense. It's all up to the quarterbacks, and I think that Jalen Hurts is the better quarterback in this situation. I think that he's the kind of guy that can extend plays his mobility is key to what they do there in Philadelphia, whereas Ryan Tannehill is an immobile quarterback. While he does have some weapons to get the ball down the field to and Traylon Burks, I don't think that they are the better team when it comes to this matchup. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles to win on Sunday. Game number two is the 8-3. Miami Dolphins at the 7-4 San Francisco 49ers. This right here is a really fun game. Both teams are running the same offense as Kyle Shanahan's former offensive coordinator is Mike McDaniel, the new head coach of the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins brought in some running backs that are former San Francisco 49ers over the last couple of years. Raheem Mostert, Jerry Wilson Jr. came over this year. They brought in Tyree Kill to pair with Jalen Waddell. And the offense has been just running exemplary through Tua Tagovailoa. Tua has not lost a game that he has started and completed this year as a Miami Dolphins starting quarterback. For the 49ers, they started out the season with Trey Lance. He got hurt, and they went back to the quarterback that I think they should have begun with in the beginning, and that's Jimmy Garoppolo. He is an efficient passer. While he isn't the most accurate in the world, he has weapons around him. He doesn't make the big mistake. The defense, I think, is the key to this game. San Francisco can get a big-time pass rush. I look for the 49ers to win the game on defense today in Santa Clara. Rematch of the AFC Championship game, the 9-2 Kansas City Chiefs at the 7-4 Cincinnati Bengals. And the Kansas City Chiefs played the Bengals twice this last year and lost both games after they held a big lead in the first half. I don't expect the same thing to happen this time around as Kansas City has a monster chip on its shoulder when it comes to the Cincinnati Bengals. Now I think this will be a very good game back and forth as the Bengals get Jamar Chase back on offense. The Chiefs are a little wounded when it comes to their receiver positions, 
But I think both teams' defenses are going to have a whale of a time trying to stop the other team's running game. Now, here in this particular game, Kansas City comes in, and as I said, I think that they've got a lot to prove against Cincinnati. Cincinnati feels like all they need to do is hold serve. I think the Chiefs are going to want it more. I'll take the Kansas City Chiefs to win the game in Cincinnati today. Sunday night football on NBC. You've got the 4-7-1 Indianapolis Colts at the 8-3 Dallas Cowboys. At the beginning of the season, this game looked like it could be a real doozy. But as the season has gone on, the Indianapolis Colts have faltered, changed head coaches, and have had a lot of injuries both on their offensive line and to their skill position players. For the Dallas Cowboys, they're one of the top teams in the NFC, and I think that they shouldn't have too much trouble disposing of the Indianapolis Colts as long as they run the football with their two-headed monster of Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott. Dak Prescott doesn't turn the football over and gets the ball to his receivers, CeeDee Lamb, tight end Dalton Schultz, and then uh, it's just a matter of that pass rush and that defense. The Dallas Cowboys will dominate up front and win the game on Sunday Night Football. Monday Night Football, you've got a battle of a couple of weakened teams in a very poor NFC South the New Orleans Saints at 4 and 8 take on the 5 and 6 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The New Orleans defense will get Cameron Jordan back and that'll help on the defensive side. They're continuing to roll with Andy Dalton at quarterback. They have some injuries at wide receivers, but they need to run the football. Take a lot of the pressure off their quarterback Andy Dalton and that'll help New Orleans a lot. New Orleans has roughed up Tampa over the last couple of years, but this year they got roughed up earlier in the year by the Buccaneers. Now the Buccaneers were a lot stronger team earlier in the season. They've had some stumbles and faults here as the season has progressed. Just look at their record here. And so, you know, they still got Tom Brady, they're starting to run the football again with with uh, they're starting to run the football again. I always want to say Legarrette Blunt, but that's not right at all. It is uh, but it is Leonard Fournette and Rashad White. The there he started to come along the rookie there behind Fournette. But he's still got good receivers, does Tom Brady and Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. And so, you know, he's got Julio Jones. They've tried to bring along some of these other tight ends to replace Gron Gronkowski throughout the year. But they haven't done a whole heck of a lot. But I still think that the Tampa is the better team in this particular game. I'll take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win on Monday night. So there you have it, another Picks with David, week number 13 in the NFL. Thanks again for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you on Thursday for the beginning of week number 14.